What's an agnostic? Educate me. What's the difference between agnostic and atheist? Atheist means you don't believe in anything. Got it. Agnostic means you believe there is something, excellent. but you do not know what it is. Excellent, excellent. That's wonderful. So let's take a step from there. So you do believe there is a creator, right? I, be I believe there is a, a higher power. Power, power, power. Excellent. Me and you are on the same page so far, right? Yes. So that higher power is the one who created us and the world and, you know, Somebody created us, right? We yeah. didn't come out of... Like, like, let's think of it this way, right? You, you're a logical person. Like, I can tell you're intelligent. You think through things, right? Yeah. So let's think through this logically. You came to Baboa Park today. You see buildings. You see lights. You see pavement. You see structures. You see signs. If I told you nobody built this, like there were no engineers, no manufacturers, no workers putting this stuff up, no electricians, nobody, this over billions of years, this whole park, every building in it, every sign, every light, every structure, every table, every chair, just came to be by itself. You wouldn't believe me. No. Why not? Because something has to, something has to be there to create something. Excellent. Somebody had to shape it. It's in too much of a perfect method, perfect layout for it to be random. Yeah. Right. So, the human body. Right? The planet we live in, the oxygen and carbon dioxide balance, the ozone layer, which we're destroying, all of this was set up in perfection and it is in a greater perfection than this park. Right? Your own body, your heart, your liver, your kidney, your eyes, perfection. If anything goes off balance a little bit, people die. Yes. Right? So you know from that, being intelligent, that there was a creator who mapped this body out, who created us. We didn't do it ourselves. No. Right? Excellent. So now that creator, now think about this, right? You own any kind of, uh, you own a car? No, I take city bus. All right, excellent. So you own a video game system? I play on computers. Excellent, your computer. That computer is made by somebody, right? Yes. Dell, IBM, whatever, right? So whoever made that computer made a manual with it, right? Because yes. they know that computer, if you don't know how to turn it on, you don't know how to use it, you're going to misuse it, right? Yes. So. If a human creator can think like that, right? Our creator who created humans has a greater wisdom. So when he created us, he wouldn't just leave us for our own whims to do whatever, right? He would tell us, you know, look, I'm going to create you guys and I'm going to tell you how to live, right? Like how to be good to each other, right? Yes. And that's why as Muslims, we believe that our creator sent us prophets, right? To guide us, to tell us, look, don't kill your neighbors, don't steal, don't worship idols, you weren't created just to worship, you know, monkeys and pigs and things like that. You were, you were created to worship that one creator. You were created with a purpose to be a good person, to go back to where you came from, which is heaven, right? So we believe that that creator sent us those messengers and sent us books, guides, like a manual, right? Mm -hmm. A messenger like a trainer to train us, right? A, a manual, which, which would be the original Old Testament, which was sent to Moses, Torah, the Zabur, which is the Palms of David, which was sent to David, then Injil, which is the Bible sent to Jesus, and then the Quran sent to Muhammad, peace be upon all of them, right? Yes. So we believe it's the same message. Like if you think about it, it's only yeah. like, like, like Jesus and, and Moses and Abraham, they gave the same message. Worship that one God, don't worship idols, right? Yeah. And Muhammad brought the same message, peace be upon them, right? Yeah. See, we have respect for all the messengers. When we say their name, we say peace be upon them. Don't worry about it, it's all right. Oh, just a balloon, yeah. I so, know, it's just, I'm fidgety around all the out. I feel you. So, when you think about that message, right? Somebody will be like, yeah, yeah, you know what? Moses was on the truth, but Jesus, like the Jews, they will say he was a false prophet, right? But we don't believe that. We believe he was a true prophet because look at the message, look at the miracles he had. Right? And then you'll get Christians that'll be, yeah, we believe in Jesus, but they would, they'll misinterpret Aramaic to make him the literal son of God. Right? Yeah. If you take the Bible, other people have been called the sons of God, begotten sons. Why? Because that's a term of endearment. Right? Like you go to a Catholic, you go to a priest, you'll be like, forgive me, sin, Father, for I have sinned. But you don't mean Father like he has intercourse with your mom. You mean out of respect. Yeah. Right? So Aramaic had the same thing. But people, because when they translated to Koine Greek and Latin and so on, and, and the, the Council of Nasaya and others, they, they changed up that true message of Jesus, 
right? That's why today the Catholic Bible has different amount of chapters. The Protestant Bible has a different amount of, like which one is the Bible, right? You go, you see all these, like the Quran, we have one Quran. Every Muslim, Shia, Sunni, this, that, whatever, one Quran. You go to anywhere in the world, one Quran. Why? Because this is the true preserved message. Like here, we memorize the Quran by heart, letter by letter, word by word. There's a, there's a name for that. I keep forgetting. Hafiz, Hafiz, Tahfiz al-Quran, memorizing the Quran. Yeah. I I I I I saw I saw uh, um, history of um, Islam on Netflix. And nice. They, and, and, and and there's a word to to call a person who can recite the Quran from ha. memory. Today we call him Hafiz. Ah. Yes. So you as an agnostic. You believe in God as I do. You believe in one God, I'm assuming, right? You don't yeah. think there's like 20, 30 fighting it out, right? You believe in one God, right? I believe, I believe, I believe, there, I believe in a creator. Excellent. I, I, look, look. I just don't know what the creator is. Excellent. So I'm saying, look, we believe in a creator. You believe in a creator. We've got that in common, right? Yes. All right, let's take it a step further now, right? You believe in, I, we agreed right now, that creator will not just leave us to our own wilms. He'll going to send us messages, right? Yes. So we believe that there were messengers. You believe that too, right? Yes. Good, we're on the same page. We believe that Moses, Abraham, Jesus, Muhammad, these were all true prophets, right? There were, there were people who brought the good message, right? You yes. believe that too? Yes. Excellent, we believe in the same thing. Now, that God, when you want, or that creator, we don't have to call him God, like I don't even like the word God, right? Let's just leave that out. Let's call him the creator, yes. right? Let's say the one only worthy of worship, and in Arabic, we would say Allah, right? Allah means the only one worthy of worship, the only one that can be called a God, the only creator, right? Yes. So let's just, I mean, if you want, we'll use the word Allah. If not, we'll use the word creator. It doesn't matter to me, right? Creator is better. Creator, let's do that. Khaliq. In Arabic, creator means Khaliq, right? So when we believe in the same creator, we believe in the messengers, we believe they brought true messages, right? Yes. So you have the basic belief of Islam already, right? Now, what I encourage you, read the Qur'an and get to know that Creator. I will. Excellent. And then when you have questions about that, come back and talk to us. We're going to be here for you. Cool? Have a nice day. Thank you. Nice meeting you.